okay so uh, next uh, uh, let's talk about the AWS service catalog and uh, this is for the users that are going to be new to AWS and uh, they will have too many options to create stacks and they may create stacks that are not compliant or in line with the rest of the organizations so we want to provide these users with a self-service portal and then where we'll be launching our authorized products and these authorized products will be predefined by administrator so it includes for example virtual machines databases storage options such as elastic file system etc etc and the idea is that with the service catalog we are giving users a controlled environment to deploy stuff on the aws so how does it work so well it relies on the cloud formation so first you have two parts in service catalog uh, you have the admins and then you have the users so the admins are going to define products and uh, what is the product in service catalog uh, that is this product in the service catalog uh, well it is a cloud formation template that the admins have to write and uh, because the admins are power users they are going to write these cloud formation templates very very well and they will put all these products together and create a portfolio so a portfolio is going to be a collection of products and then each portfolio uh, so a portfolio is going to be a collection of products and each portfolio will be assigned some IAM roles to give control so uh, we are going to say who can access this portfolio and when they can access so then the users are going to be presented with product list through the service catalog and the product they see okay are only going to be uh, the product they will see or will be only going to be uh, the products that they are authorized by the IAM and then you then these users for example they need a stack with an ec2 instance and they will launch these products and the products uh, because they correspond to the cloud formation template will be launching whatever the cloud formation template is configured to do and that will give you provisioned products now they are ready to use they are properly configured and they are properly tagged so think of like the service catalog as a set of cloud formation templates that your users can use based on their iam permission so in this example we don't give the users to launch cloud formation templates themselves we give them just the ability to launch the cloud formation cloud formation templates that only the admins have been given the rights to do so and so the idea here is that we are giving a lot less control uh, to our users and uh, we are giving uh, we are giving making sure that our users only can do things that they are authorized to do with the service catalog so uh, now uh let's go back to the theory of service catalog uh, we are creating and managing a catalog of it services that are going to be approved by our administrators on aws each product is a cloud formation template and uh, so you can do whatever you want with the cloud formation templates but you can have a virtual machine image servers softwares databases regions ip address ranges whatever you want the idea is that by using cloud formation we help ensure consistency and we have the standardization by the admins so we don't give the users the right to use cloud formation directly we give them only the right to use service catalog which in turns is using cloud formation as its backbone so then the products will be assigned to portfolios or teams and the teams will be presented with a self-service portal uh, when they can launch the products and all the deployed products are centrally managed through a service catalog and uh, so why do we, some, we build such of the architecture why do we do this well to help the help with the governance and compliance and consistency so this is what you are going to have a uh, look like for the exam okay uh, whenever a user needs to be launching products but doesn't require deep AWS knowledge or doesn't need to know all the options of the AWS the idea is that you should use something like service catalog and uh, you should define these templates in advance for your users to make sure they can only do exactly what you are, in, what you are actually intended to do so you can have a standardization in tagging you can have a standardization in the way things are being configured etc etc Finally, service catalog does integrate with self-service portals such as ServiceNow. So it is possible for you to completely hide the facts in service catalog and have your users use your internal ServiceNow portal to request, for example, uh, like a, a EMR cluster to perform some big data. And uh, and uh, so this is it for the service catalog. Uh, like remember, service catalog is only when you are in just consistency, standardization, and give less control to the users and more controls to your admin. And uh, this is it for this lecture and I will see you in the next lecture.